than anywhere else. Oh, people got it. But, the, but uh, let me, get, and I'm not going to go in, into detail, but the ephod is simply a priestly garment that the priest wore. Okay. The, the ephod was part of the garments that the priest had to wear when they performed their priestly duties at the temple of And here's the point we want to get about the ephod. David put it on. But the ephod was in two pieces and it fit together on the two corners on two corners you have to get, now get that that's significant it was two pieces and it fit together on two corners see the number two in the Bible symbolizes fellowship numărul 2 în Biblie totdeauna simbolizează părtășia and union with Christ și uniunea cu Hristos Fellowship and union with Christ. You see, the two pieces joined together. In fellowship and union. See, when David put on the ephod, it represented his heart. Când David a pus podul, asta reprezenta inima lui. That was already joined in union and fellowship Care era with God. Deja în uniune și în părtășie cu Dumnezeu. I mean, David was a man who walked with God. David era un om care umblat cu Dumnezeu. I mean, this is a very important key for us to remember. Asta este o okay, cheie importantă să ne amintim. I know David was praying at a time that there was trouble in his life. David se ruga într-un timp când erau probleme în viața lui. And let's be really honest. Hai să fim foarte sinceri. For many of us, that's the only time we pray is when there's trouble. That's the only time we really call on God is when there's trouble. But David put this ephod on. David a pus epodul pe el which represented his heart that was already in union with God. Turn with me to Psalm 27 verse 4. Deschide la Psalmul 27 cu 4. David wrote this psalm. Și David a scris următorul psalm. And we can see that David not only called on God when he was in trouble. And we can see that David not only called on God when he was in trouble. Vedem că David nu l-a chemat pe Dumnezeu doar când avea probleme. David, David desired to be in the presence of God on a daily basis. David dorea să fie în prezența lui Dumnezeu în totdeauna. Praying to Father God was not just something David did when he had problems. Uh, rugându-se la Tatăl, el nu făcea lucrurile doar când avea probleme. Avea o inimă care era deja conectată cu Tatăl. Verse 4 says this. Versetul 4 spune. Again, David writes this. David scrie lucrul ăsta. He says, one thing I ask of the Lord. Un lucru cer de la Domnul. This is what I seek. Și îl doresc fierbinte. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Aș vrea să locuiesc toată viața mea în casă Domnului. All the days of my life. Toată viața. To gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Ca să privesc frumusețea Domnului. And to seek Him in His temple. Și să mă minunez de templul Lui. Can you see the heart of David? Puteți vedea inima lui David? Even when he didn't have problems. Chiar că nu avea probleme. He had a heart after God. Avea o inima după inima lui Dumnezeu. He had a heart that was in union with God. Avea o inima care era împărtășită. He had a heart that was in fellowship with God. He put that ephod on. Those two pieces came together. It was representing David's heart. Coming together with God's heart. And David prayed. You see, David knew he, he knew the heart of God. David stia inima lui Dumnezeu. He had been in God's presence. He desired God's presence. I mean, prayer was something that wasn't uncommon for him. That's why it's important that we be in that secret place. See, in the New Testament it says it like this, okay? John 15 and 7. Jesus says this. If you remain in me, dacă rămâneți în mine, and my words remain in you, și cuvintele mele rămân în voi, what is that? Ce înseamnă asta? Is that fellowship? Nu-i vorba de părtășie. Is that union together? Nu-i vorba de uniune aici. He said, then he says, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. Cereți orice veți dori și vi se va da. I just want to challenge your heart as God challenged my heart with it. Vreau să vă provoc inima la fel cum Dumnezeu a provocat-o pe mea. I think I said it last night. Cred că am zis-o și aseară. Do 
you have a desire to be alone in His presence. I don't need to be singular presence alone. When everything's going great in your life. When you have no problems. When you have no problems. Man, everything's just wonderful. Oh. They see that's, that was David's heart. He was already in union when fellowship with God. So when he got in a time of trouble, it was no problem for him to pray. And God answered. Să se roage și Dumnezeu să răspundă. In Matthew 15, verses 8 and 9, Matei 15, 9 cu 10, Jesus says this as well. Sau cu 9, Iisus spune, These people honor me with their lips, oamenii aceștia mă, poporul acesta mă cinstește cu buzele lor, but their hearts are far from me. Dar inima lor este departe de mine. Man, you catch that? Ați apucat lucrul ăsta? They honor me with their lips, mă cinstesc cu buzele, But their heart is far Dar inima este departe de mine. And I want to ask you tonight, where's your heart at? Vreau să te întreb în seara asta unde ție inima. We all need to examine ourselves from time to time. Toți trebuie să ne examinăm din timp în timp. I'm talking about the secret to answer prayer in your life. Vorbesc despre secretul de a avea rugăciunea răspunsă. Because Jesus said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you. Iisus zicea, dacă voi rămâneți în mine și cuvântul meu rămâne în voi. He was talking about fellowship there. El vorbea despre părtășie acolo. He says, you ask, what you, you ask whatever you wish and I'll do it. Cereți orice veți vrea și voi face pentru voi. Is your heart connected in fellowship with God? Este inima ta conectată cu Dumnezeu, în părtășie cu El? Before David prayed, he put on the ephod. He had a heart that was already in fellowship with God. Maybe you're here tonight and you know that your heart is really far from God. Tonight is the night to reconnect with God. Seara asta e seara să te reconectezi cu Dumnezeu. Să conectezi inima ta și să o aduci în părtășie cu Dumnezeu. Al doilea lucru care reprezenta efodul este un secret la a avea rugăciune răspunse. Cine purta acele efod era pus deoparte să slujească lui Dumnezeu. They were set apart to serve God. Era pus de o parte să slujească pe Dumnezeu. Exodus 28 verses 2 and 3 in the New Testament. Exodus 28 verse 2. Says make special clothing for Aaron to show his separation to God. Spune pe haine speciale pentru Aron ca să se separe pentru Dumnezeu. Beautiful garments that will lend dignity to his work. Acele haine frumoase spune traducerea asta care vor aduce demnitate slujbei lui. Instruct all those who have special skills as tailors to make the garments that will set Aaron apart from everyone else. Instruiește pe toți cei care au o demnare specială și pot să croiască aceste haine să le facă pentru el ca să-l pună să-l pună pe arău deoparte de toți ceilalți ca să mă poată sluji ca preot. Când pui acele foci și ești consacrat, pus deoparte pentru Dumnezeu. What David was saying when he put on the ephod before he prayed ce David a spus când el și-a pus efodul înainte să se roage. God, I'm set apart to serve you. Doamne, sunt pus deoparte să te slujesc pe tine. I'm set apart to serve you. Sunt pus deoparte acum să te slujesc pe tine. I told you at the beginning of this there were two things that amazed me about this story. Am zis, sunt două lucruri care mă uimesc la întâmplarea asta la povestea. The first is this. Primul este. Like I said. Cum am spus. Is that David prayed, God answered. David s-a rugat și Dumnezeu a răspuns. The second thing that amazes me about this story is this. A doua lucru care mă uimește la povestirea asta este. The David pray. David s-a rugat. Why does that amaze me? De ce m-a uimit lucrul ăsta? You know, because when David inquired of the Lord.